Hey, it's Jay, aka Ferris Bueller from the RPF, and I promised in an earlier video that I would go back and, and show you how I uh, modified my Pepcor 3D model that was graciously uh, donated by Omarbu1 of the RPF uh, for use in these educational tutorials. So, thank you. I appreciate that. I forgot to mention that in my first vid. So um, here's the lower jaw. You saw in my last video I did the face plate, upper lower, and then combined the two into one. Um, so what, what I did here was I started with the original um, low res models of the, uh, the face plate and the lower jaw. And you can see, I mean, there's, there's, there's still some polygons there. Um, I went ahead and 3D printed both of these parts, but uh, they, they really showed up pretty well in the, in the 3D print. So I decided to try and figure out how to how to smooth these while still retaining the sharp edges. So really quickly I'm going to go through the process uh, that I used to to go from these low res versions to um, the high res version. So let me go ahead and bring up the face plate that I modified and I basically just put them in a, in a different object and they're hidden for right now. So uh, let, me, let me bring those up so you can see how smoothed out that face plate is. Uh, a lot better for 3D printing and it requires a lot less bond to work in, uh, afterwards. So I'm going to do the same thing with the jaw. Let me uh, hide these out. So here you can see the lower jaw. Uh, it's still got the, the polygons and everything. So I'll show you the after and here it is. There's a lot of sharp edges still but those are supposed to be there in the final helmet. But you can also see where uh, some of these curves are. They're a lot smoother uh, there's without the modifiers and there's with. So basically what I did was let me go back to the low res version here and uh, just walk through a brief step by step here. Basically all I did was was uh, add this modifier here. Uh, you click on add modifier and you go to subdivision surface. Okay, and When you click that you're going to get this subdivision surface modifier panel here. Okay. Uh, Right now it's hidden. Okay, I'll turn it off. So you're going to get um, uh, basically no change. You're not going to notice any change. Let me turn the the uh, wireframes on here. What happens is when you start applying this modifier, you start you start uh, clicking these subdivisions here, and you increase the number of subdivisions. You start to get a nice smooth surface. The problem with that is, as you can see, you lose the definition of these sharp edges that are supposed to be there around here where the the teeth are around the the cheek lines there's supposed to be these sharp edges here and you can see the curves don't meet those edges so what I'm going to do really quickly here in this uh, two minute tutorial is show you how to, to correct for that Okay. Um, so you want to set the model up in your viewport where uh, you, you want to work on one edge at a time and basically for, for this jaw uh, working around the edges is where I started so obviously you're going to need sharp edges here basically what you need to do is go into um, your edit mode and you're going to want to be picking your uh, edges not vertices and that's right here at the bottom you can pick vertices edges or faces so you want to select some edges here and hold down shift to multiple select edges okay and just blast through a bunch of these real quickly so you can see what the overall effect is going to be. Once you select those edges, you're going to do something holding uh, down Shift and E. Okay, basically what that's going to do is going to allow you to pull. Uh, you're setting a crease on those edges, so what's going to do is pull that model out. Pull that model out. You just I just pull it until uh, it stops moving. Basically, what that does is that sets this mean crease here to 1.0 and this value can go up or down from 0 to 1 and you can see what that does to the to the model okay so let's go ahead and uh, spin this back around the reason why it's not pulling all the way to the edge here is because you're not you're not grabbing the the, the corners here so if I were to grab this corner for example um, and then you know um, the back side here, the back side here, okay, and then go ahead and do uh, Shift E again to pull that out. You'll see it's going to fill in that corner. So basically, what you want to do is go around the entire thing 
and uh, all the way around the edges here and anywhere else you want sharp edges like in here around the cheek and you're going to want to do this crease okay uh, what I did was I went into wireframe mode here um, hit the modifier okay and you can select um, a whole side of the of the model okay well if you're vertex mode you can select this whole side of the model delete it out okay and then once you do that you just need to worry about editing one side and then you can do a mirror so you get the other side flipped over and then join and then the pieces will join together and you'll have your finished model so let me go ahead and um, pop back over to the high-res version and I'll show you what I'm talking about this I went ahead and uh, deleted the half did the modification on one side and then did the mirror and join using a mirror modifier and I ended up with the nice smooth surface again which you'll see when I start adding views it'll start smoothing out but I retain the sharp edges now if I look at the wireframe you'll see here all those purple lines are where I applied the crease okay, so there are a lot I had to go in and I looked at some reference photos uh, looked at the, the the helmet that I pepped out to see where where I wanted those sharp edges, and uh, that's basically what I ended up with. And I think it's going to turn out pretty good. I uh, see the inside. I got a whole bunch of these edges picked out, and you can you can mass select these things by hitting the C key, and you get this little circle here, and you can go in and just kind of you know grab all the vertices or the edges that you want, and uh, and right click and then you've got them selected and you can apply the modifier that you, that you need to to those edges or you, know, you can do the shift E and increase them out like I showed you a minute ago okay so I, I, all these are selected on the inside because the rounding when I apply the subdivision service modifier these edges inside got really really round and in some places they were actually crossing out to the outside of the mesh okay and it was causing some weird issues out here we don't want that so I just said, you know what, I'm just going to crease all these things in here. And it opens up some more space for um, electronics and whatnot. So. so that's all that I've got for this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, figure out how to slice this thing up and stick it on the 3D printer. And I'll have another short video showing that. Thanks.